Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Shubhra, the companion in the journey to learn data science. While I was exploring this field, I get to know two common terms, residual and error. I thought these are the same terms that are used interchangeably. Do you also think the same way? Are these the same terms or different ones? So let's find out together whether they are the same terms or different terms. So before going on to these terms, we will learn the basics of linear regression where these terms are commonly used. In this video, we will learn the basics of linear regression followed by its applications. Then we will see what are residuals and finally we will see whether residual and error are same or different. So let's see what is linear regression. Linear regression is the basic model of regression where we estimate the relationship between the two variables. In this, one variable is called an independent variable and the other one is called as dependent variable. If you will see this diagram, the blue dots are represented as data points of our data and the black line plotted is a line of regression which is estimating the relationship between the independent variable which is being plotted on the x-axis and the dependent variable being plotted on the y-axis. To understand it more better, let's see an example of ice cream sales prediction. So in this data set, we have two variables, temperature and the number of ice cream sold. So let's see whether the sales of ice cream is dependent upon temperature or not. So we will plot this data on the x-axis and y-axis. X-axis will contain the number of ice cream sold and y-axis will contain the temperature. Now at 28 degrees, the number of ice cream sold are 10. At 29 degrees of temperature, the number of ice cream sold are 15 and similarly we have plotted for other data points. We can see that the number of ice cream sold is clearly dependent upon temperature. So as the temperature is rising from 28 to 40 degrees, the number of ice cream sold has also been increasing from 10 number of ice cream to 72 number of ice creams. So that means I number of ice cream is increasing with the increase in temperature. So the linear regression is represented with a very common basic equation y cap is equal to bx plus a where y cap is a predicted value. So have you ever seen this equation before or similar equation before? Yes, you are correct. This is similar to, this is similar to the equation of a line. The li equation of line is represented as y is equal to c plus mx. In this m is the slope of the line and C is the intercept on the y-axis. Similarly, here beta 1 is the slope of the line in the regression model and beta 0 is the intercept on the y-axis as the C, which is equivalent to C. So let's see what are the different applications of linear regression. Linear regression is very commonly used in every application nowadays, whether it is weather forecasting, sales forecasting, house price prediction, prediction of economic growth, whether we want to predict the scores of a cricket team or a marks of a student or oil price prediction. So to understand more better, let's see an example. Have you seen this black dot? This black dot, we are seeing it as a predicted value and this blue dot is represented as an actual value of any data point. So we say that the difference between this blue dot and the black dot is called an error. But is it actually an error? or is it a residual? So let's understand this with the help of a more clear example. So to understand the difference between the residual and error, we take up an example of marks obtained by the student based on the number of hours studied daily. So we have plotted this data based on the recorded data for the last year, let's say in the year 2022. So the recorded data is called as historical data set. Now the, this red dot is representing the marks obtained by the student is 60 for if he has studied for 10 hours daily. And this blue dot is representing the actual marks, let's say the actual marks are 80. So if we are calculating the difference between the actual marks and the predicted marks based on the historical data set or the recorded data set, we are calling it as residual. Whereas if we are calculating the difference between the actual value and the predicted value for the current year, let's say 2023, then this difference will be called as, as an error. So this is an actual difference which will be there for the current year for the unobserved data set. 
we don't know the actual marks what will be the actual marks obtained by the student but once we know the actual marks obtained by the student for the current year and then we will find the difference between the actual marks and the predicted marks for the current year that difference will be called as an error so there is a very minute difference between the error and residual but it is of great significance in machine learning so let's do it once more so if we are calculating the difference between the actual value and the predicted value based on the historical data set which has been recorded earlier it is called a residual and if we are calculating the difference between the actual value and the predicted value for the current year which is yet to be recorded then we call this term as error so let's summarize the difference between the two terms error and residual so error is basically done is calculated on the current or the future data set whereas residual is being calculated on the historical data set so if we are talking about historical data set that means it is already an observed data but whether we are calculating the difference or the error on the future data set then that is unobserved data and therefore it is called as unobserved data set so residual values are near to accurate value but this error are the more accurate value on the current data so that's all the difference between the residual and error so these two terms are not the interchangeably used terms there is a minute difference but it is of great significance in the field of machine learning so if you find my video interesting and meaningful please uh, like and share my video and for more such interesting videos please subscribe to my channel thank you